Well, tonight, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has a new, I guess you could say, hire. She has hired former Secretary of the Department of Corrections Joe Porfiri as her new senior advisor just hours after the Board of Corrections voted to fire him. The vote comes during an ongoing battle between the state board and state leaders over adding more prison beds in the state prison system and leadership of the department. Caroline Derby was at that meeting today. She joins us live tonight. Caroline, kind of walk us through the events that happened, what led up to this and how state leaders are responding. Well, Bob Lore, it's kind of been a drawn out situation over the past couple of months that led to tonight's decision. Now that meeting only lasted about 12 minutes with one item on the agenda, and that was to discuss the Department of Corrections secretary position. Now in those 12 minutes, the board voted five to two to terminate Joe Profuri. The meeting started with chairman of the Board of Corrections, Benny Magnus, saying he felt like the board only had three options. Remove the suspension and put Profiri back to work, keep the suspension in place, or terminate him. Lee Watson, board member, shared some of his concerns about Profiri, including lack of communication, saying he felt like there was only one option to terminate him. Watson made the motion that was then seconded by Dr. William Byers. Chairman Benny Magnus said in this situation, he decided to vote, a practice he doesn't normally do. You know, given the, 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 the situation and the need for Arkansas to move forward rapidly, um, we, needed, we needed a secretary in place working with us, working with the legislature and working with the governor to make these things happen as rapidly as possible as far as adding beds and adding a facility. In most cases, I don't vote. It's my personal privilege to take a vote or not take a vote. In this case, the chair votes yes. That will make five yeses and two noes. John Felt and new board member Brandon Tollett were the only two members who voted no. Attorney General Tim Griffin in a statement said, quote, I am disappointed by the board's decision. And as mentioned, Governor Sanders announced that Joe Profiri will now be a senior advisor in her administration, saying in part, quote, sadly, the Board of Corrections has chosen to chosen repeatedly to focus on pushing lies, political stunts and power grabs, unquote. Joe Profiri also released a statement saying in part, quote, certain members of the board are making false and misleading claims, all in an effort to hold power and keep the status quo, which for decades has created a dangerous and broken system. And as for what's next, we are still waiting to find out. But when we do, we'll update you on air and online at KRK.com. Reporting live from the Capitol, I'm Caroline Derby. Back to you.